This morning we executed a search and arrest warrant on this property. We subsequently found over 200 animals. We believe they've been prepared and raised for animal fighting. Five people in the home, including three children. One male was taken into custody. So it's a typical cockfighting operation. Um, given, given the setting, being urban, the space is small, but there's a large number of birds for the space. The birds range in age from the young to the adult, which is typical. Higher number of roosters to hens, so the ratios are very consistent with cockfighting. In coops, some are loose, and of course the paraphernalia associated with cockfighting. What we found here were, were knives, which are implements that are strapped to the rooster's legs and used in the actual fight. Um, so think about it like uh, sword fighting with roosters. The common um, way that fighters will uh, modify their birds is to cut off the combs and wattles. Um, so they'll just cut them right off of the heads and the, they'll take off their earlobes and then the wattles and then that cuts down on the bleeding. Um, that could happen in the fight. So um, it won't distract the roosters and the rooster won't bleed out as fast. The, the 219 includes roosters, hens, and chicks. but. I mean, based upon our investigation, we have a lot of information indicating that they have been prepared and trained for animal fighting, which is a felony. But what I would urge the public to do is if they ever wonder if there is something happening next door, or they see an animal that may be in distress, or they think that there's something happening, they need to report it to the police and to Indiana, Indianapolis Animal Services. Um, and they can come out and check, and it might be nothing, but it might save a life.